What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. Uh, you saw it in the thumbnail, Tesla quick access with QR codes. Uh, a little bit different, I'll show you how it works in just a moment, but I want to explain about uh, the setup, the process, and the background functionality. This is all done through Tasker. So if you don't have an Android, uh, my apologies, this is specifically for Android users with Tasker. Uh, one day I might get an iPhone so I can start doing cool stuff like this with iPhones. So with that said, uh, I have another sheet of paper here that corresponds with this one. And I even have a laminator out uh, because I can laminate this and stick it up in my garage. And I know, uh, you know, no water, no nothing. It will be nice and safe. So uh, with that said, let me explain to you how it works a little bit. And then I'll get into the uh, tasker setup process, which isn't super complex. And then I will actually show you the final functionality. So here's the concept behind this. I have this sheet of paper here with a whole bunch of QR codes and, uh, each QR code links to a sheet of text, a piece of text. So if we go to the top left one, for example, it says unlock and there's a red Tesla. And we look here on the top left, it's the text is red dash unlock, right? So the next one should be white dash unlock. If we look here, uh, we have red, white, and I just did this because I did a whole sheet of them uh, all in one go and I wanted it to all match. So uh, the first thing we need to do is make sure we know what our pieces of text are for the QR codes that we're generating. Uh, to make a QR code, just go on Google search, type in QR code generator. Uh, there are thousands of them. Uh, completely free, you type in your piece of text and then you can save the QR code to a document and uh, print it out. So once it's printed out on a piece of paper, you're able to get your phone, scan the QR code, and the QR code is going to bring up the text on your phone. And this is where Tasker comes in. So uh, Tasker is going to read it and say, hey, uh, we want to honk both the red and the white one. So if it reads the text bo uh, both dash honk, we can trigger uh tasker to do whatever we like so in this case obviously we're going to want to make it honk to match the qr code so that's the premise behind it let me show you on tasker before we begin you obviously need tasker the tesla tasker plugin and we also need auto barcode uh this is the light version i have it in app purchase through tasker itself uh to have the full-blown version uh, this is created by Tasker, just like an additional plugin, and I will show you how it works in just a sec. So let's set it up. We're going to go here. We're going to hit the plus. We're going to create a brand new profile. Uh, so we're going to go to event, and we're going to scroll down to plugin, and then we're going to go to auto barcode light. And we're going to hit the uh, little pen in the top right, and we want to go to barcode filter. So here is where we're going to place... Uh, whatever you want the car to do. So whatever you put in as your QR code, when you go to scan it, uh, this is that piece of text. So if we scan the QR code that says unlock white, uh, which is white dash unlock, uh, according to my sheet of paper, uh, every time I scan that QR code and this barcode comes up, white dash unlock, uh, it's going to trigger whatever we want it to do. So obviously in this case, we want it to uh, unlock the car. So we're going to hit back and then we're going to create a new task and then we'll call it white unlock. Okay, so when you get here, you're going to hit the plus and then you go to plugins, uh, the Tesla Tasker plugin. Mine might look a little different depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, this is actually a new beta version of the uh, Tesla or Tasker plugin for Tesla, which is really, really nice. But anyway, once you pick unlock your doors, you can select your vehicle and uh, you're going to have to log in just for uh, security reasons. Obviously, I'm not going to show you uh, my login, but uh, that is it. So if we hit the check mark now, we have barcode light uh, when it scans white dash unlock that piece of text, it's going to unlock the white car. So that's pretty much it. That's the whole entire uh, Tasker profile. Uh, for this to work now, we have this other app, it's called Scan. It comes with the auto barcode. Okay, so I have the quick access QR codes here and I'm gonna show you how it works. So I can get the uh, scanning app and I can scan the uh, unlock white uh, through the quick access. Uh, just something to note as I'm learning now, as I'm playing around with this, uh, I tested the QR code by itself as like a single code, but I'm learning with multiple codes like this, you kinda wanna space them out. 
uh, because it's very hard uh, to get them all on one page and have it scanned. So as you can see, I'm actually having problems, but I actually want to do this live for you guys so you, you understand my struggles as I uh, do this. So there you go, now it's scanned and it will be reading the car and there you go, the car just unlocked. So uh, it's mostly spacing out the QR codes, making them bigger, uh, but you can see that the unlock did work. Uh, let me know in the comments below what kind of use cases you guys have for uh, the Tesla Quick Access QR code. I joked around, I think it's like the poor man's NFC tag. Because uh, you're allowed to tag things, but I mean, you can print this out yourself. So let me know in the comments below. I'm sure you guys have some really cool use case ideas that I haven't come up with yet. Uh, this is just like a really simple uh, example. And make sure to leave a like on the video if it did help you. Do subscribe for more Tesla content. And most importantly, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.